lesson 27. Can you imagine you have danced from lesson one and now we are doing lesson 27. If this is the time you are getting to this video, know there are other 26 lessons for you, waiting for you to master them. So in this lesson 27, we'll be doing back testing. And in this back testing, I want to give you two tips. Actually, two things to check if you have confirmed double bottom on monthly. Sometimes you can have, and this can go even for double top. So this lesson, we will focus on the double bottom. Then on another lesson, I will do the double top. Many are the times that, yes, you're given a confirmed entry on the monthly, but you see what happens. You are given doubts with other time frames so that you can forget everything that the monthly had said, and then you hope in on the direction the other time frame is saying. But if you only know I will do these two things, you'll be good. One, you'll have uh, agreed with the monthly, and two, you'll make more money. So anytime, and hear me clearly, this video won't be long, it will be direct to the point. Anytime you have a double top, a double bottom, sorry. Anytime you have a double bottom like that, let's say this is your double bottom, and then you have a, this is possible because it has not broken half. So anytime you have a possible double bottom, I want you to do this. So the first thing that you will check, and this is on a monthly. So this is like a monthly strategy, more so when you have a double bottom. So once you have a double bottom like that, I want you to identify all your areas. I want you to identify your half. I want to identify your neckline. And I want you to identify the zone, the double bottom. So this is a, my neckline. So I have my neckline here. And then I get my half. That's my half. And then I look if I have RBS. Automatically RBS, guys, like I said, it's the one that gives us more confidence trading that buy. So because we have RBS here, it is just an added confirmation. So <clears throat> you remember when I was saying, when you have a double bottom either on daily, weekly, and monthly, which strategy do we use? We use WBB strategy. So here I will come and say WBB strategy. So if you don't know what WBB strategy, it stands for three entry signal, but WBB strategy has three entry, three entry signal. Number one, wait for red candle, for green candle because you want to buy. Number two, Check if it's bullish engulf. Number three, if not, WBB. So WBB means we put, we are putting the box, wait for box to break. So these are the, these are some of the three entry signals that we follow. So then first thing you wait for a green candle. Number two, you check if it's bullish angle. Number three, if not, WBB, weight box break. So when I come here and I open my monthly, imagine opening monthly chart and you find your candle has engulfed. You just find this candle has engulfed like that. Without even flipping on another time frame, I want you to be placing the micro lot, 0 0.01, because the strategy says if it's bullish engulf, you buy. Many traders don't know how to do the action. Yes, they know how to analyze. Yes, they know how to do all these things. But when it comes to place the trade, they say, let me wait. Let me wait for weekly confirmation. Let me now wait for daily. Let me now wait for hour. I think it will go down. I think it will retrace. All these are psychological. Like they are, they're just affecting your brain. So strategy means if the strategy happens, just put, and you'll put one, three, even without flipping, that is the first thing. I've told you, I'll give you two things. So you need to understand that GBP, JPY has told you to buy, and it will be buying how many pips? It will be buying 834 pips. So you are thinking for 834 pips, if I risk 0.01, I'll gain $83 from this trade. And you're thinking out loud, if I risk 
0 0.1. If I risk 0 0.1, yes, I know it can retrace 200 pips. But if I risk uh, uh, 0 0.1, it will give me $834. This can be the trade. Every time monthly it is giving you a confirmed confirm, a confirmation on a pattern is your time to, to shine. So 834 pips, let me give you 834 pips. So, so if we have 834 pips and we are using 0 0.0.01, at the end of the day, you will earn how many dollars? $83. $83, that's a lot. It's like 15000 in Kenya. So you will earn $83. So if again you gain 834 and you say, I'm aware 834 pips, that's what, 834 pips, that's what I'm gaining. And I will trade with 0 0.1 lot. I will gain 800 and that for this is a hundred thousand Kenya shillings. So eight hundred and that four dollars. That is that is this is a hundred K Kenya shillings. The first one is fifteen like fifteen G's or let's say ten thousand ten K. You see, there's someone who will say, I will risk a lot of one because I have I have I have. $10,000 in my account. I don't, I'm not afraid of retracement. People have money, people have capital. So they will come and place a buy trade and they are targeting 834. And guess what? They have put standard lot, one lot. So they will gain how much? 8,000. They'll gain $8,340. This is 1 million Kenya shilling. Imagine, monthly it's giving you a confirmation to make 1 million. You see? So the question is, when you analyze from the monthly perspective and your brain is telling you, oh, they will still retrace, oh, they will still retrace, let me tell you, forget about this. This is the first layer of every trade on the monthly and every trade on the monthly does not look like the previous month. This pair may give you a trade that don't retrace at all, but the other pair may retrace. So here you just need to understand on the monthly time frame, the market can retrace up to 200 pips. That is monthly. Like the market is prone to, to retrace 200 pips. So here you are gaining 10,000, but you'll be risking how much? $20. So you are risking $20, which is 2,000, 2K. Because it can you you are aware this market can go down two hundred pips. Here, you're risking you're risking two hundred dollars. This is how much twenty k. So here you are risking twenty k. So you see, if you don't have an account, if your account is ten thousand, you can't be putting zero point one. That is the mathematic here I want you to do. And then here. You are risking two thousand dollars because if your it goes down two hundred pips, it's two thousand dollars. You are risking two thousand dollars, but guess what? If you have like two million in your account or twenty thousand in your account, it's okay to risk that. If at all that's what you want to risk, because these are guarantee trade. That is two hundred k in Kenya shillings. Two hundred k in Kenya shillings. You see the calculation we do. Before even you enter the trade, you already know. For me, before I enter monthly time frame, I already know, yes, the gain is too much. 800 is too much. So if I gain this trade at the end of the day, I'll, I have grown my account very well. So $834 in one month, it's a lot. It's a lot. This trade, it can be the only trade you pick. So the first trade is to secure this position by putting your first trade. And your first entry, the loss size will be determined by your capital. So if you have $100 and below, you are doing the $834. Not it, 100. If you have uh, $900 and below, you cannot put 0 0.1 as your loss. 
if at least you have a thousand dollars, you can say, let me risk this two hundred dollars, and I will hold this trade up to the T profit, and I double my account. Again, if you have ten thousand dollars, you can risk one lot or zero point five or zero point two, whichever. But you will not be so worried when this trade does not, because you'll have put even stop loss. So if you I risk it two hundred pips, you come and put stop loss. So you 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 will use ATR to gauge you where you put the stop loss, at least to be aware you're not targeting exactly 200 risk. Now you have placed your first trade. You have placed the first trade. I want to show you where you put your stop loss. Your, your stop loss won't be, oh, I want to put a stop loss. No, you will use a pattern to put a stop loss. So once you go to, to lower time frame, I want you to get only one, one pattern that is confirmed, and that's what we'll be using. That is our second confirmation from this. Our first trade we have entered and we are hoping that this market is going 834. So when you go to weekly, tell me if you will find any pattern. In fact, on the weekly, it's the same pattern that is on the monthly. Nothing much. It's just suggesting a double bottom and monthly it has told us enter weekly, enter nothing much. Once I go to daily time frame, I'm thinking, oh, do I still enter? Why is this market selling? And the monthly it is a, a very good green candle. But on my on my uh, observation, I understand I have a pattern. Now this is the pattern we will use for what? For stop loss, guys, this is the pattern we will use for stop loss. Why? If I have a double top, I already know the case that what the market will do. So that becomes my double top. That becomes my double top. And I want to show you. So that becomes my double top. And then I start to figure out my neckline. So I have my neckline here. That's my neckline. And then I identify my half. This is my half, guys. So I identify my half. So let me just ask you a question. Using the double top, using this double top, would you put anything anything would you put your stop loss anything above the half no why because the rule of a double top means if it gives you a bullish anger if you can see this red candle was a bullish anger it gave us a bullish anger this red candle the market is headed to the half so even you well, would you put stop loss just anywhere no we will not put above this because it is evident this market is dropping down it is dropping down. Again, the market can come to create a double bottom pattern. You can see the market can come to create a double bottom pattern. So we do not, we are very aware that we don't want to put stop loss near this activation zone. So let's observe this market, what it did. So the market starts to sell. Remember, you're now being taken on a drawdown because this market can still go up and give us a cup and handle. So we don't want to say, oh, 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 it will sell because it has given us an end goal. What if this market continues to buy and give us a cup and handle? What if that is the case? What if that is the case? And you're thinking this market has potential of coming up to this area. If it, it, if it gives me a cup and handle, it is coming to the black zone. You see, it is near to the half. So you only have one trade. And that trade, because it's a monthly uh, entry, you already know even when you're getting into drawdown. You know those people who you are in drawdown of 100 pips and you say, oh, the trade is wrong. No, you already know why the market sell. Now, the market sell, sell. You're still inside. You're still inside your thinking and they activate the double bottom. Once they activate this double bottom, once they activate this double bottom, already they have given you. You see, when you had put your stop loss, they already have, they have liquidated everyone with a stop loss below here. That's what I was saying. You cannot put a stop loss. In fact, if you want to place a stop loss, you see this candle, the green candle, at least something below there. Because now if they start breaking, this cell is very, very powerful. So they break half, but they have activated. And that's what I was saying. When half is broken, already ask yourself, what is being activated on my left side? So the market has activated the that pattern. Guys, I want you to understand. 
Monthly, we had the first pattern, double bottom. Daily, we got a what? A double top, second pattern, number two. Now, the same daily, we have pattern three. Pattern three. So when we, we reach to pattern three, we apply the WBP now on pattern three. We'll apply WBB on pattern three. Why do we apply WBB? Because we don't want to, and to get in like a guesswork. We don't want to, it's like we, are, we, we don't know what we are doing. We want to enter this trade knowing that, yes, monthly supporting us a buy, but still we need to. And you see, we are looking for second entry. We are still looking for second entry. All along here, if you are having 0 0.01, you are stacking in trades. If the market goes down, you stack in trades according to your capital. According to your capital. So you have at least, you don't have, at the time the market is going here on the on this zone, already you have the second trade. You can now place the second trade. Why? Because now you're believing the market will get rejected at this area. So we are looking for the next candle to do what? Engulf. So WBB means we wait for that engulfing candle. So as we are waiting for that engulfing candle, we get a green candle. So you see the three, uh, the three signal entry, number one, wait for a, a green candle, Check if it's bullish and gulf. If not, you put a box. So I want us first to identify the half of this third pattern. The third, the half of this third pattern. The half of this third pattern, you can see clearly, this is the half of that pattern. Let me mark it with blue so that you can know. And for me, I can see it has RBS. There's RBS. Giving me more conf confidence. In fact, I would have traded, I would have entered the second position at the second pattern, at the third pattern, because I know chances are the market will do what? It will get, uh, it will be, it will take this pattern and go forward. So we have, um, now we have this green candle. So WBB is what we are doing. We, we are putting the box, hoping the box to be broken so that you can enter. So we come and take our box and we enter. Notice here you have already stuck another trade. You have one trade that is negative, that drawdown that you entered. You entered here. That trade you entered around this place. Because the minute you entered, uh, you the market was opening. The, the minute that trade you entered, let me show you where you entered that trade. You entered there. That your, was your entry. So this trade you have entered there, already it is in the drawdown. And we want to check how much drawdown were you taking? 235 pips. You see that's what I was saying. If you prepare yourself psychologically that any monthly signal goes more than 200 pips, it won't be like, oh, no, no, no. Uh, it won't be like, I was wrong. I wish I waited. So we are waiting and hoping for that candle to break. And that candle, does, not only it breaks, not only it breaks the box, but it it makes the 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 can the market that we entered and it was drawdown. Already that trade we are in profit. The next trade we stuck, we stuck a, a lot of trades we are in profit, and now we'll now enter again because it has broken half. So we have so many trades. And guess where we are targeting? Where are we targeting, guys? We are targeting at the half of the monthly. You remember the half of the monthly candle? Where are we targeting? The half. So I'll show you. We have the double bottom. I want to show you where we are targeting. Let me make it clear. I think I will put that candle different color so that I can know where we are targeting. You see, that is the half. Let me put it blue so that it can be visible. So let's go back to daily. So we are targeting that level. So imagine entering this trade. And that's the beauty of long-term entry. You enter the trade there and you had other trades. By the time you are, you, you are entering the second trade, the first trade 
when you entered, when that green candle came to be, you were 326 pips. So the first trade you had 326, and the trade you entered with the monthly time frame, you are 136. So the first trade, you want to target how many pips? You want to target 9.78. So I will place 9.78, 9.78 plus. So that is the trade you entered because you knew there is a second and a third pattern that this market, mostly market moves at the third pattern just start to prepare to enter. So you have the 9.78 and then we have the bigger pattern, uh, the one that we have entered, the new entry. 728 pips. So this is where you have multiple trade entries, but if you have just one, you'll have the, the 834 that we are talking about. If you never entered another position, if you don't enter another position, you just have the 834. And then plus now the 834, because this is where we entered, plus the 834. I'll do the calculation for you and I will give you the answer. So imagine, who wouldn't want, by the time the market is giving you, uh, it's hitting the take profit, who wouldn't want, who doesn't like want 978 pips plus 729 pips plus 834 pips? 2,000, can you hear guys? Who doesn't want 2,541 pips? Who doesn't want all those pips? So if you had a 0 0.1, if you were just putting 0 0.1 in this, uh, in this, you would have made $2,541. If you are putting a lot of one, the first trade lot of one, the second lot of one, it's time, 2,000 times 20, that is 25,000, 25,410. Imagine guys, so 25,000, times 148 to get in Kenya, you have made 3.7 million. So let's see how much you'd have made. Either 300K, either $300 with 0 0.01 or with a lot of one, three lot. Because every trade, if you had put one lot, one lot, one lot, how much you'd have made and how long did it take? So the market goes up. You can see how market is quickly to go up. Quickly to go up. The market almost, by the time this market is nearing here, it says that you can choose to come out. You can choose to come out of this trade because you have so many pips. It's just nearing the take profit. For me, if I get, you can imagine a trade, a monthly trade you enter and already it has given you 638 pips. For me, this is where I tell people it is good to exit. You can exit. Why? Because already you have made so much money. Let's see what happened after that. The market still continued. Can you see? This is what, this is the power of monthly. The market made sure it has hit the TP. You would have made 2,541 if you had three position. If you only had one position from the monthly, you would have made 834 pips. If you had um position, the new position after the half was broken, 729. If you stuck a trade when the market was below because you knew it would make a pattern, 978. Overall, 2,541 pips. Guys, this is massive. This is massive, guys. And when now you flip on monthly, you flip on monthly, this is what happened. This is what happened on the monthly. You see, after the bullish angle, can you see that candle? But we can see the market first did a retracement. The market first did a retracement before. Yes, our entry was here, but the market first did a what? A retracement. The market first did a retracement. And that retracement is what many people fear. You will fear this retracement, but you don't know that market are not the same. So it did a retracement of 239 pips before it went up. This one candle alone was how many pips? 775 pips. So guys, with this, I'm just encouraging you on Euro CHF. I'm just encouraging you on what? On Euro CHF. We have to go to Euro CHF and check what really happened on the monthly time frame. 
What is the communication on the Euro CHF? The same thing. Euro CHF has them, has the a double, a double. Exactly. I'm telling you this thing, ha it has played out exact, exact. So it has a double bottom. Euro CHF has a double bottom. You can see a very clear double bottom. And then, so the double bottom has uh, uh, activated. And then we have the we have the neckline. And then we have our half. I want to show you, when you master the way the market moves, you won't have fear. In fact, you're the one to tell people, enter, hold the trade. So I want to show you the replica of what we have just done. So when it comes to Euro CHF, the market, did it give us a bullish angle? Yes, it gave us a bullish angle. So where was our first entry? Our first trade was here. So here you have this trade. And if you have 0 0.01 on this trade, only one trade, only one trade, the drawdown would you have would have been taken drawdown of 205 pips. On GBP JP, it was, it was 237 or 240. So 200, the market has dropped 205. That is telling you, the, the exhaustion has already been done. So what is telling you is that let's go to weekly. Do we have a pattern on weekly? There's nothing because the market was a buy. There was no pattern. But let's go to daily. Notice on the monthly, when we were doing GBP, JPY, the monthly daily gave us a double top. Guess what? On the Euro CHF, which pattern did we get? Which pattern did we get on the Euro CHF? We got the same. Double top is the one that made this market to go down. Double top. Now, this double top, the market has done what? They have broke this neckline. And like the other one, even it never went to the neckline. So this double top is there. The market even broke the neckline. But let me tell you, do you remember when I told you at the neckline things that happens? The, mar the market can break the neckline like this and see the market move forward. It can be one setup. The market can still move forward and hit this TP. And for me, I believe that the, they want you to sell because of course it's a double top neckline broken. Everyone is looking for retracement here. They continue selling. But what you don't know on the weekly time frame, it's still clear a double top. So you you're seeing this double top that is not available on the daily. And then they can use this double top on the weekly and say, let's now figure it out. Uh, where this market is going. So if we have this double top on the on the on the weekly, if that's the double top on the weekly, this is where our half is. So we need a fast green candle. We put a box and then we'll go straight forward. So that's how things are. Double bottom on the monthly gives you an income and then comes down. And you're thinking, why did it come down? It's just because it had activated a new pattern on the daily. So for those who are looking for new entries on Euro CHF, just trade it either using daily, weekly, but the long term is still a buy. It's still a buy. This double bottom on the monthly, it will still buy. And we'll be here to witness. If it does not buy, it will teach us a lesson because we, we are not 100% accurate. So if it does not, don't crucify me. Oh, it didn't. It's just that we are learning new things. Guys, thank you so much. I hope you have learned something. I hope this video is helpful to you. And the only thing I can ask of you is that you like this video, you share it with someone who has never heard of Forex. That is the first thing you will do. You share this video to someone who has never heard of Forex. Help them so that they can be profitable. Thank you so much, guys. Love you so much. Bye-bye.